Today, I just have a few tips to those who want to join fitness as a business. The things that we ignore, but they remain very key. For example, company registration. Most people ignore this, but in the business world, companies prefer working with companies other than working with individuals. Even when it comes to payment, the payment of a company is higher than that of an individual. Number two, insurance. As an instructor, how about insure your health? Anything can happen. You can wake up tomorrow and you're sick but you don't have money. You can be going for your session and you get an accident. And in most cases, these are things that happen when you don't have enough money or you don't have money budgeted for that. If you're insured, your bills are catered for. Number three, delegation. As an instructor, you need to train people. You need to delegate. Because at times you're going to be caught up with other obligations and you're not able to be where you're supposed to be. But if you have trained someone, they will represent you. And while training, make sure the person you are training is able to represent you very positively. Let your clients not miss you. Let your other instructor deliver the same service or even better than you. By so doing, the company will move on even if you are not around. Number four, you need to think beyond. For any business to succeed, you need to think beyond. By so saying, I simply mean do further research, do consultation. If you do these things, you're going to deliver the same service, but in a different way. By so doing, you're going to succeed more than other people who are doing just the same thing. Finally, how about you work on your reputation or your brand before the money 